video, I'm going to show you how to send a form from your Gmail email account and to save it as a pre-formatted form, one of many that you could have to run your business. At some point or another, you've been asked or requested or found the need to send something to people to get some questions and answers, email, a follow-up form, whatever it is, and you dove in and then you found out how hard it really was. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some different options and I'm going to suggest and walk you through the one to make this pre-formatted pre form that is for free and set it up in your Gmail account and be able to send it and show you how to collect the results. Let's begin. First off, I want to show you that Google Forms exists. Google Forms is a free Google-based program that allows you to set up pre-formatted templates for questions and responses. You can have quizzes and a whole bunch of other fun stuff with it. And um, it's free and it's connected to your Gmail account. That's right, if you have a Gmail account, you can use Google Forms. In fact, without deviating too far, you have access to many things. You have video chat, you have a calendar, you have docs, which is the same thing as Microsoft Word, if anyone's ever been confused with it. Sheets is just like Excel, slides is like PowerPoint, and forms. So you have access, again, with every Gmail account that you have, you have access to use Google Forms for free to a certain capacity based on your video and, and whatnot, but you can set up an account. now. With my company, I use Google Workspace. So I have an at domain, uh, my website name that I use, like, you know, your info at your domain. And you can set that up on Google also to work in the Gmail based email system. Totally recommend it. I'll put some links in below for you to do that easily because that's what that's what makes business running look more professional is that using your domain versus just a Gmail account. Anyway, back to the point. There's Google Forms out there, but there are other competing services also. There's Microsoft Forms. Yes, they're all giving it away and doing this. Now, if you wanna collect your responses in Excel versus Sheets, you know, that's a six of one, half a dozen of the other. I use Google all the time for everything now, so I don't, I've let Microsoft go, but Microsoft has free form builders also. Uh, we're gonna be specifically focusing on Google in this video shortly. Now, I just really wanna reiterate, things get tough. You can also use things on your WordPress website, a Gravity Forms, okay? that This is where you start realizing how technical it is. You gotta set up all the questions, then you have to somehow connect it so that it sends you the answers. Now, that that's where you hit the roadblock and you, you end up calling your technical friend or technical department, please help me. Sometimes they even recommend uh, Adobe PDF and there's web form builders that you can send a PDF to someone that they can fill out and then you can receive the responses in another document or on a dashboard in Adobe. Again, this is way too complex. I like to use simple Google Forms. So once you log in to Google Forms with your Gmail account, you go up to the top right and go in, it looks like this right here. So you get in there and there's a bunch of start new forms. There's there's even pre-formatted templates and there's more of them if you're really into seeing how many there are. And you can just start with one of these and then you can reiterate them or whatnot. I'm gonna show you one that I created for my company. And it basically starts out with a section and then it has another section here. How do you create these sections? See off to the side here, you have add question. Um, you, can, you can add a title and description, add an image, add a video. So look, add a question, boom. <laughs> this is a question. Oops. And you can have option one, you can add another, you can add another, you can add another, and you can keep going. And you can make the multiple choice, check boxes, drop downs, you know, selecting all of this fun stuff. Like, this is absolutely amazing. And upon sending, you know, different sections, you can have page one, page two, page three, you have your brand, we put a branded image here at the top. Then you have an area simply right here at the top. Okay, this is the easiest way to show you. So you come here and you send it to someone. So let's let's send it to me. Hello. Uh, actually, let's go to, um, yeah. Hello at gem 
www.ethereumweb.com. Now, the, the main key here, when you after you've pre-set up all of this form, you make sure to go include form in email. So otherwise it'll send that link. Now, who wants to just send a link? You want the wow factor that they've gotten something amazing, right? And that's it. And you go send. You can you can put a little bit more information, say from your company name, you know, put some more details in. Let me know as a representative. Call me if you have any questions, go walking through it. Be very helpful, right? And that'll be sent to them. So you send. What does it look like? See right there, boom, it came in in seconds and it comes in in here and this is it. And then you can start the process by simply clicking on continue and ask, you know, it's going to pop up a thing. Um, and then boom, you can start filling out the details. Now I started filling this out and then um, that's what this response looked here. Once I submitted it, it, it put in a whole bunch of, um, answers. So here's the, I just went ink, you know, thing. I was just going fast for you guys so that I could get to the point and just show you Then I went, you know, NA, 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 but I started filling it out to be discussed, to be discussed and away we went. So that's it. Every single response that you send this to people are going to respond and you're going to be able to tally them here in the responses to show your boss, to yourself, to run your company. You can even share these forms on social media, send the link or grab the link instead you know, that you could grab right up here. See, there's the email format, but then there's the link. You could just go copy or you could shorten the link to something a little bit more interesting, you know, copy that link and then share it over on social. Again, always shorten it. So it's not so what everyone will think that's a spam or some sort of hack thing. Or you could even embed the form in your website. That's right. You can embed forms in your site. Let me show you an example of this on a um, client's website that we did because he wanted to send something out to uh, his uh, client list to ask, you know, to find out how are they doing? So we did a how are they doing form and this is what the form looked like. We took out all the branding and we just made a bunch of questions and answers. You know, um, this HVAC company that wanted to know how their clients uh, found their jobs that they're doing and you know he got an amazing response he learned a lot about his target markets and a whole bunch of other stuff so you have the embedding you have the link you have the email remember to click that always the ultimate question how did i make this a form that i could reuse and make other forms that i could easily have as a set in gmail well this is the key question you create templates within gmail so when you go to compose an email, okay, let's start at the beginning. You received this email. Let's go, let's go into my main area. So you received this email. Okay. So now let's open it by just going reply. So now you get this reply email and you can open the email completely and wipe out a bunch of this information. I recommend leaving a space here so you can do some stuff and you could, you could replace this with, um, uh, a bunch of your business name. Like if you're having trouble with this, you can do this. I, I, I wipe out all of this stuff and I, I'll put a blank thing in here, a uh, message that is <laughs> thing. And you, you just kind of customize it powered by this. Um, you don't need to, you don't need to leave these things in here, but, um, there are terms of service with the can spam laws that you need to, um, leave certain things in here, but you can get rid of this. You can put, you know, your, your business phone number down here. Um, you know, your website, you know, just just ideas that you could do. Um, contact your, your actual uh, representative name if you need to have any problems with the form. Anyway, it's, you're just setting this up right now um, to then create a form. How do you do this? Well, you first off, I recommend that you go you edit the subject. I like to um, do a form and then say it was a web design Q&A. And then you go down here and you to the three dots and you go templates and you save as draft. I've got a lot of them as you can see and I go save as new templates, you know, and boom. So I save that now. Now I'm gonna close this out, I'm gonna delete. I'm just gonna go back to my main inbox. Now I'm gonna go compose, okay? And this is, this is the drum roll, please. Here we go. You go down here and you go template and it's right there. You see this right here, that's the last one. You just click on it and it pre-populates all of it. You could get rid of this or keep your signature in there. And now you could just send to whoever you wanted to change the form, change it to more like business name, you know, um, form, uh, form to fill out, you know, um, 
and then boom, you can send it with a personal message or whatever you want it to do and away you go. And you could do this process over and over, go to Google Forms, create a new form, send it to yourself, then open it to reply, save it to your templates, then boom. Then you can have these access within these three dots down here in, in Gmail to have as many forms whenever you have to do it. Say you have to do forms multiple times throughout the year. They're all preloaded, ready to go. It's, it's never ending beneficial to use forms, question and answer, and Google Forms makes it super easy. It's free, totally recommend it. I'll put all the links in the video below. If you found value in this video, please remember to subscribe or check out these two other videos also as they have um, very much similar content in regards to uh, Google. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another video.